We're joined now by Helen's mother, Mary McCourt, and fellow campaigner, Linda Jones, whose daughter, Danielle, was murdered in 2001, and her body has also never been found. So you are supporting, understandably, uh, this change in the law as well. Um, Mary, a conviction is a form of justice, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How important is it for you that you're able, actually, to bury your daughter to what extent is that also part of the natural justice that you feel you deserve? Well, it's horrific to know that a loved one has been murdered, you know? It's a horrific death. Mm. But then, not to be able to give that victim a proper burial is torment, mm. you know? And for me, it's been 31 years. Mm. I, I wake up of a morning after about two hours sleep and all I'm thinking is, what can I do today? How can I increase these petitions? How can I get this law changed? Mm -hmm. We need it because family is now, whereas Helen, it was only the third conviction of murder without a body mm -hmm. since the Second World War. And now, because DNA is proving who the killer is without haven't caught the person, mm. that's why these killers now are determined that their victims' bodies won't be found. And for the families, it's, there's no closure. No. You know, it's, all as I want is for him to admit his guilt, say where her body is, and they could release them when they want. Mm. I've got my child back. Mm. I need to recover that. She belongs to me, not him. Mm. He's the killer. Why should the law allow him to keep that to himself mm. and release him? And people have been released without saying where the body is, and it's very wrong. Mm. Linda, you're, you lost your daughter, Danielle, uh, in 2001. Yeah. Um, her body's never been found either. Tell us what happened to her. Uh, she went off to school on the 18th of June and I never saw her again. Um, and obviously it's been proven that her uncle was responsible and it turned out that he'd been sort of grooming her and, and had an obsession with her, which we weren't aware of at the time. And how has that been for you? Because this was a family member. Yeah. And, of course, going through this process and seeing that, but equally, like Mary, not mm. having Danielle's body must be... Yeah, well, to torture. echo what Mary yeah. said, you know, it's, it's a daily torture, you know, and to think that her body's just been discarded somewhere is heartbreaking. You know, we need her back and put her in a safe place that, uh, that we know where she is and somewhere to go, you know. And, and the fact that it was a family member has sort of split the family apart. Has he ever admitted his guilt? No, he hasn't done it. He's maintained his innocence. Mm. So the, 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 there will be people saying that these two men who have been found guilty and are serving their sentences have never admitted their guilt mm -hmm. to doing this. Uh, and if they are maintaining their innocence, then would there be the fear that there could be a miscarriage of justice? <sighs> I would say over the fear of a miscarriage of justice is that... No, because DNA now mm. can prove mm. beyond all doubt. My daughter's killer, I've had that DNA rechecked mm. uh, recently, two years ago, and it now stands at 1.1 billion. The trouble is, if they're not admitting guilt, yeah. then they're not going to disclose no. where, where no. the body is. I mean, that's, that's the problem, yes. isn't it? Have you... Because you say, Mary, you only get a couple of hours sleep a night. Yes. You know, this is on... Mm. As anyone can understand, mm. this tragedy mm. that, that tears you apart is on your mind all the time. Mm. Have you been motivated to try and find your daughter? Have you... I mean, you know, you must have faced such difficult questions about going to ask the person responsible get in touch and, I mean, are you driven to those sort of desperate lengths where you want to make contact and just plead? Where is she? Yes, yes. I, I actually wrote to him after his appeal was thrown out. And, Linda, what about you? Yeah, I, I, similarly, after appeals wrote, but in my view, um, Danielle's murderer, it, it's the control. He wants to, mm. re to remain in control. It's chilling, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely. Mm. You think this is a deliberate attempt yeah. to cause you more I agony? I think so, because if he loved her as much as oh. he seems to have loved her, why would he want her just buried in, in, in you know, throat discarded? Why no. would he not want her to be in somewhere that's safe? And, Mary, you came very close in 2015, didn't you, when you launched 
uh, the, the appeal for the law. Yes. Uh, you petition. came to see us and the, and the petition came out yes. and actually mm. the bill had its first reading in Parliament. Yes. And, and, and it seemed to be going through. I mean, that must have mm. been a moment... Well, ev everyone in Parliament voted for us mm. and, uh, and, yes, it was going ahead, but then it got delayed and delayed because Brexit came into us. You know, and it, it's the, it's the a human... I believe it's the Court of Human Rights which is doing it because they don't like to keep any killers, even if they've blown up a dozen people, they believe they have a, a date where they can look forward yeah. to being released. Yeah. I say, mm -hmm. where there is no body and the proof is there that they are guilty, no-one else is to blame, only them, and therefore they... They have to have that control taken away from them. You know, there's a big danger here because when you're in prison and you're saying you're innocent, you don't go to the uh, classes that they have while you're in prison mm. to make them face their, their crime and to understand why they yeah. took it, rehabilitation. They don't have that. So how can they consider releasing them when they're still just saying, it's, I'm innocent? Yeah. Um... The Parliamentary Under Secretary of State for Justice said uh, in 2017 during a debate on this, um, let me say we all have to be careful not to support something that would create perverse incentives for offenders to lie about where the victim's remains are located to try and secure release or to further torment victims' families. I mean, it's a sort of law of unintended consequences. Sometimes these look like extraordinarily good laws, mm -hmm. no body, no parole. But can you see that there might be some offenders who might abuse that, get temporary release, take police on a wild goose chase, just as, you know, you're saying that yeah. your daughter's murderer is still exerting a horrible form of control over your family, yeah. where they might abuse that? I think the, the, the evidence is overwhelming. So, in our case, I don't think there's any doubt that he, he is guilty. Yeah. Um, and I think, I don't know, you're given one opportunity, as far as I'm mm. concerned. Mm. You know, if, if you want to give us mm. the runaround, but if you're given one opportunity, that's up to them. Yeah. Can I say that within Helen's law, all of this is taken into yeah. account? We now have... It, this, is, this is now law in Australia. Five states have her, the sixth state have passed us, it's just waiting to be put all the I's and the T's yeah. crossed and dotted. So the petition is still active? Yeah. Very it? much And so, how many yeah. signatures do you have? Uh, I believe it's about 600,000 yeah. wow. at the moment. Okay. Yeah. This is, the, this is the, uh, the pamphlet that you've brought in this morning. Um, lovely picture of Helen there. Yeah. And, of course, this is what you're, you're looking for and, and the address for that petition, change.org forward slash Helen's Law. If people would like to find out more about it, certainly, mm -hmm. and understand exactly what you are uh, petitioning for. The Ministry of Justice have told us that no family should have their pain compounded by not knowing the whereabouts of their loved one. Whilst parole board guidance is clear that offenders withholding information may still pose a public risk and therefore face longer in prison. We have immense sympathy for Helen McCourt's family. We have met uh, Mary and her MP to discuss how we can address the concerns and will carefully consider their feedback. Do you think that your daughter's murderers will at some stage be released if, if this um, law is not enacted? I don't believe that Ian Sims will ever tell me. And I think that's the only key that the government can have, is to say, no body, no parole. Mm. Now, can I just say quickly mm. that that is covered, that... In, the, in that Helen's law, it's cooperation. All is they have to do is cooperate right. with the law and say, well, yes, I did it, and this is where her body is. Mm. And they have, to, they have to prove that, mm. you know, otherwise it's no body, no parole. Yeah. All right, Mary Linda, thank you very much thank indeed you. for joining us this morning.